Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to take the Red Rover and on a relatively sunny and a warm day, uh, 70 something, very humid out here in the Houston area, uh, I'm going to go to Harbor Freight and pick me up some clear glasses because um, all I have is these dark glasses uh, that I got from Harbor Freight. They, they're really good riding glasses, uh, but these are safety glasses that are tinted. They have another one of these, ex same, uh, the same way with the nose thing and all this, uh, except it's clear. And I need one of those for night riding because there's a lot of bugs that come out at night. And this is a little too dark, so this is what I'm going to get. Uh, another thing is that I'm wearing something called a chamois, or not a chamois, but... Uh, you wrap it around your neck, it's like a little chamois. Uh, this one actually has a um, place where you could put ice. I didn't put any ice, it's not that hot. But I think it's great to wear if you're going to be out in the heat. This should keep me cool for about an hour or so. Uh, it's also great for uh, getting all the sweat and everything out of the way as well. See what I'm talking about right here? Just right around my neck. Anyways, uh, as far as the ride, excuse me, let me focus. First ride, uh, I don't know how long it is. I think it's, it's relative, I'm surprised it's only six miles, but I'm gonna take a bike trail, uh, mostly roads, not too much off-roading. I think it's still a little wet. And plus I got my short saw today. So uh, I just wanna take it a little easy, just ride the road and I'll be, have, hopefully get a, a headed to Harbor Freight. All right, this is uh, one of the places that I ride by and part of the trail actually. Um, went off that main road, came out here. I'm going to be headed out this way, and then I'm going to go a little off terrain. But uh, it's nice to stop once in a while. You can see a little, I think you can see a little crane right there and some ducks. Nice, nice little view. Waterside, uh, lakeside view here. But let me go around this whole property. It goes, cuts through this, this little shortcut back here. Cuts through and gets me on the main road where leads to more uh, you know paved paved uh, bike trails and so that's what I'm mostly doing here so all right here's where I get off the trail a little bit this is part of the uh, a little levee system that I have here uh, of course there's a little lake it's not really a lake per se it's man-made uh, more of a retention pond but call them lakes out here and there's a nice little landscape right about here that guy actually if you can see that guy has a pontoon over there it's kind of incredible anyways uh, I'm gonna cut through here go on the other side and then cut through there that should give me a shortcut because otherwise the road the road would have to go all the way down there and then cut back up here where I need to uh, go on the trail so a nice little off-terrain ride for me on my uh, uh, rad rover I have the rad rover with me today so all right, um, made it to uh, the main road here. There's a uh, target right there. Uh, Walmart's just right over there, but uh, I need to go to the park. And then from the park, there's a bike trail that goes, it will take me almost all the way up to Harbor Freight. Um, one of the things I did do is I noticed the brakes felt really loose. And I think I'm wearing the brake pads out as I'm riding. So I tighten up the, uh, the brakes and uh, they work fine they don't scrape and i'm, I'm noticing a better better uh break uh break hold here so uh, i'm going to continue on here real quick all right i made it to the beginning of the bike trail here as you can see this is a uh, along the a creek uh or bayou whatever they call it and a nice little place to park i could bring my rad rad mini there's a little corvette there <laughs> anyways uh i'm gonna take the trail and it's going to go under that road and it's going to take me along the bayou all the way almost all the way over to uh, Harbor Freight. I have to take a little streets here and there but uh, uh, I think it's a great way to save on gas. I'm just here to pick up uh, some clear glasses for night riding. Uh, looks like a part of the trail I have to cross this little creek here. I don't know. It's, I wouldn't say call it a creek but whatever. All right. Mission accomplished. Uh, here they are, clear glasses. This is the one I wear for the tinted ones. This is clear. They only had one. I would have bought two. I took the wrapper off just to uh, put it in my pocket. So I'm at uh, Harbor Freight right now. And so uh, 
there you go. So now I'm going to cruise on back home the way I came, and I'm going to enjoy a very lovely ride. All right, I'm headed back. I'm basically coming the way I came, even though I overshot my my route, but that's all right. It's along the bike trail here. Um, I did notice, however, that there is a little path, and I saw two uh, bikers out here. Uh, looks like my mountain bikers, and there is an un there is a path here, and it looks like it is a kind of like a dirt road kind of bike path. Uh, maybe next time I'll take that path and just try it out. But right now I just want to throttle on home because it's it's a lot of fun. Well, I'm pretty much almost headed home, but here's a nice little view. Nice little houses out here. Again, a retention pond, not really a lake, but you know, some of these people might want to go on a boat right out there. They hardly ever do, so I don't, I don't really understand the purpose. If I was going to live on a lake, I live on a real lake. But nice little view on the way home. All right, see you later. All right, everyone, I made it back. Oh, what a day, what a day. Uh, I don't know how, what the distance was, but I used a lot of battery. <laughs> I did, right after Harbor Freight, I did I did throttle this thing. Uh, the Cramp Buster is awesome. And uh, I actually just, uh, let, me go, let me go ahead and turn this off. I actually broke uh, 100 miles, if you can tell, and almost drained most of the battery. The thing is, uh, I used the bike last night to do a night ride. Hence, uh, hold on here. Hence, that's why I'm getting the, uh, okay. Hence, that's why I'm getting this with a clear lens because uh, you'll get bugs flying in <laughs> you know you turn the uh, you turn the light on and uh, the bugs it's getting warm out here so the bugs start coming out so I got I need some clear lens and this is uh, what I'm wearing right now except uh, the tinted uh, but this one's clear and this is a cheap Harbor Freight five dollars uh, you can't beat that and it's available right now and uh, you don't have to wait you get this one right here this particular one uh, because it's uh, it probably won't scratch uh, because the tinted glasses I have don't scratch at all. Anyways, that's uh, for me to review at another time. Anyways, uh, yeah, I drained a lot of battery and uh, it was actually flashing down to the last bar and uh, I was hitting some headwinds going up a little slight uphill and uh, so I had to actually, I actually, I actually had to with my own power my own my own legs here had to pedal without any power assist whatsoever I had to put on first or second uh, maybe maybe like uh, like third maybe third gear um, other than that I, I like the the red rover literally literally just uh, is a great bike overall uh, off-road on-road um, the only thing I have an issue and is is this part right here you can see how how close it is maybe I have to do something uh, loosen this up and raise it up a little bit more uh, it, may, it may have uh, come down but uh, the fender would be would be nice because look how much room I got here in the back so I got a lot of room in the back but when it comes to here it just really gets close to the wheel and so uh, that's maybe one thing they could uh, possibly work on uh, I may I may have I may do some modification to, to the fender to uh, to kind of get this up a little bit more uh, but other than that I'm, I'm totally happy with uh, with everything here oh man my legs are sore anyways this concludes uh, today's episode of the Rad Rover ride um, it's probably the furthest I've been um, and finding there's a lot of bike trails around here that I didn't realize and I'll probably utilize more uh, more bike trails in my daily life now and uh, save a lot of money on gas and uh, get some really really good exercise and also have a lot of fun that's that's the most important thing riding a bike is now tremendously tremendously fun anyways uh, I'm gonna conclude this episode so feel free to like dislike uh, leave a comment or even do a video oh wait a minute wait a minute the last thing 
I think before I end this video, um, let me show you here. Uh, this here, this cooling rag, which is uh, absorbable, it's, a, it's like a chamois on your neck and you put ice in here. This helped out tremendously in keeping me cool. And uh, I recommend if you're going to ride out in the summer uh, for long distance, uh, this could help. I mean, it weighs you down when it's wet, but what's nice is you could, uh, uh, you know, damp your face with it and uh, it does, oh man, it absorbs the sweat and it keeps you cool. Uh, so this is another thing. I highly recommend uh, getting one of these. Uh, I don't know where this came from, but uh, it came from somewhere. Anyways, that's it.